Bokat al Khabrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live, and we are getting uh, reports in uh, early this morning in the Czech Republic that last night, uh, presidential nominee Donald Trump had to be rushed off stage as a pro uh, Hillary supporter, as Donald Trump calls the, the man, uh, is trying to make. Uh, provocative moves from what we can uh, ascertain thus far. Uh, he was wearing a gun on his side, according to reports uh, from an eyewitness uh, that uh, Info Wars is reporting on their end. Uh, and we, of course, do, we do not see any video of that case. We do see that where Donald Trump is rushed off stage. And um, you have to understand, guys, uh, as I said in our broadcast the other day, I believe that you know, Donald Trump, yes, he is the lesser of two evils. And uh, uh, I do believe, though, that not whichever candidate gets in, it's still for a New World Order agenda, unfortunately. But I think that Donald Trump uh, would definitely be a better choice in regards to peace with Russia, etc. So I have to make sure I make my stance clear on that. Um, I'm not so much against him. And definitely not a Hillary supporter by no means. I do not uh, care for Hillary whatsoever. We know that that is just as evil as evil as possibly can get. Uh, as we shared in our message last night about uh, Jezebel uh, showing you just exactly who she really is. Uh, let's take a look at this video right here and you'll be able to hear it. Uh, so let's uh, listen in. It's tremendous. I think it's going to be tremendous. He's going he's gonna, to he see he sees somebody in there causing a problem. From the Hillary Clinton campaign. How much are you being paid? $1,500? All right. Take him out. Trump always has that way. Take him out. So... Um, so I, I don't know who the guy is or whatever. You can see the Secret Service there looking there uh, as someone in particular, I guess. Donald Trump is a little bit concerned about the guy. Great. Secret Service tells him to keep his head down. They rush him off the stage there. And uh, then they begin to take and go after this guy here. He, they've got him pinned down on the floor. And of course, as I said, uh, according to Alex Jones' report there, he is packing a gun on his side. They hold his pin him to where he cannot pull this gun out. Um, and that's the best we can understand on that particular part right there. So uh, let me take, let's go over to the uh, Alex Jones report. Um, broadcast here so you can just kind of see what they speak about this from the eyewitness they had rally in reno nevada he went back on the stage to finish his speech after the gunman was apprehended after social uh, special excuse me secret service took him off the stage we've now got an eyewitness to the event joe bannister calling in uh joe what did you see at this rally Howdy, uh, Joe Bannister here. I uh, went to the Reno rally and uh, it was phenomenal. Um, first one I've been to, first Trump rally I've been to. Uh, basically what I saw was this really, you know, big, big guy. I mean, big buff guy was running toward me and the crowd that was around me at like breakneck speed. And this is in a, uh, a rally forum where you, you were standing room only. You could barely move. And this guy was bolting out from the center area out to go out, to go out, you know, towards me. I was more on the uh, perimeter. And just like he had the, the fear of heaven in, in, his, in his eyes, like, you know, which you think, well, this could only mean somebody's got a, a bomb or a, a gun or a knife or something. And he was whispering to other people what he had why he was running so fast and I couldn't hear him um, but then an eyewitness told me I interviewed her 
I just haven't uh, uploaded the video yet, but I interviewed her and she said that a guy was carrying a sign and apparently it had some, it was like purporting to be a pro-Trump sign, but it had some tape on it that would indicate it was anti-Trump. Uh, and the guy had a gun on his hip and apparently there were at least four men, probably more, who made sure that he could not draw the gun out of his holster. So they basically all pressed down on the gun, kept it in the holster, and, you know, then, of course, the law enforcement formed him and just dogpiled on the guy uh, and held him until law enforcement could cart him away. So we get an idea of what actually went on at the Trump rally there, and that's what we were trying to ascertain there, you know. Um, the question is, has this been an assassination attempt on uh, presidential nominee uh, Donald Trump, uh, or, or is it a staged event even? Uh, I don't think it was staged, but, you know, there's so many weird things that go on to begin with in the days today. Uh, but, uh, but, you know, as, as radical as the Hillary uh, supporters have been, um, you can pretty much expect anything. And uh, I, I just, I would say this, I don't think that he was there maybe to shoot Donald Trump, but you just never know. I mean, you just never know. And things have been way too crazy here lately in this election campaign. I've never seen anything like it. As I stated a couple of days ago, I think what's really going on in the American elections right now is that it is a, it's a power struggle among the elite, even in, American, in the American government. Uh, there is a, there, it seems to me that there is a power struggle on who's going to get to run the United States over the next four to eight years. Uh, as this all comes down. And I cannot help but wonder if um, when we look at uh, not so much the presidential nominees, Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton in this case here, but I'm wondering if Barack Obama is not going to use an, uh, a, a, and, and capitalize on all of these threats and issues that are happening in order to stay in power. Will they consider this an assassination attempt on Donald Trump's life? Will, they, uh, will, Donald, will, will, will Barack Obama finally come out and say, it's getting too crazy, there's been too many leaks on Hillary, we can't have a fair and free election, there is threats, there is this, there is that. He may do it on election day itself. Maybe there's chaos breaks out first part in the morning on election day, and next thing you know, Obama declares martial law. I'm very concerned, friends, that something is going to happen as a result. It's getting too crazy. I'd say at this time here, if Donald Trump wants to get into this office and make it in by popular vote, I wouldn't speak at another rally, period. Don't give him any ammunition to let the Obama regime become a real regime and not just a presidency. I'm Stephen Venoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.